Hello again, year eight. This is a short presentation on your spring review you did for science with a dirt task. You will have another presentation later, but I want you to do this one first this week. First thing I need to say, of course, is well done to everybody. We haven't done an assessment using forms before, so it was a bit of a challenge for teachers, a bit of a challenge for your students. The feedback I've given is for the questions that more people found tricky. If there is a question you want some guidance on that hasn't is on here, please message me and I will happily give that to you. Um, this guidance is important because next year when you come back into year nine, you'll be starting on your GCSE courses and we need to be preparing for that. So do be aware that this is going to be some quite precise feedback. So first bit of feedback. The first question you had was what is environmental variation? The trick here is not just to read variation but to get the qualifying word environmental in there as well. Environment is what is around you. It's whether it's hot, whether it's cold, whether you've got lots of food, whether you're on your own, whether you're part of a group. And you can use a question to help you. It's a question in a sentence. The answer should be in a sentence. So use the end of it to start you off environmental variation is then you need to think about differences caused caused by differences in how individuals live is the correct answer you do not need to mention dna it is your the response of an organism to the environment around it. it's not the response that every organism will have that is identical from dna it is about the specific circumstances around it in the environment next question this is a spelling check. I know it's annoying, but you do actually get marks for spelling in your GCSE. And we are going to get the basic things sorted out now so we don't have to stress about them later. So the question was, where are the sperm produced? One mark. You have testis, T-E-S-T-I-S, -E -S, is the singular. I remember it's the singular because it's got an I in it, just like single has. Testes, T-E-S-T-E-S, -E -E are the plural. Got the diagram on the right-hand side here if you need to check any of the other vocabulary. You've got all the spellings there as well if you want to check them. You can obviously copy the diagram from this PowerPoint into your class workbooks on Teams or you can print it out elsewhere if you want a copy of it for you. Testicle is not a scientific term need to use the correct words, not a very similar word, in order to get the marks. If you don't use the correct word, you will not get any GCSE, so we're going to sort that one out now. Question six. This question, I know that most of you know the answers, but you did not all necessarily read it correctly, which is why I've included it here. The question said, other than fossil fuels, name one other non-renewable source. So they've actually used the word other twice to remind you that's important. Now you don't want a fossil fuel, so you don't want coal, you don't want petrol, you don't want gas, but you do want a non-renewable. So you're not going for any of the green energy sources like wind power or solar power. Something that is non-renewable is not a fossil fuel is nuclear power. Yeah, once it's used, it's there. It's gone. We can't reuse nuclear power. Not at this stage anyway. Right, question eight. This is one that is a very common mistake. Shouldn't be, but it was. So we're going over it again. As an object increases its thermal store, what happens to the particles inside it? Now we have done lots of times where we have been stood in the classroom being particles. You move from foot to foot on one spot to be a solid particle vibrating around the spot. As a liquid, you can move a little bit more. We actually did that in the classroom with people swapping just with the person next to them. So you're moving a bit more. When you became a gas particle, you can move freely around the space that you're within, but you will need to keep as far as possible from area every other gas particle, a little bit like social distancing, really, for particles. So... The difference as the thermal store increase, the particles doesn't get bigger. The particles don't get hotter. They vibrate or they move more. 
so they do not heat up themselves if you fell for that one because it's got the word thermal you're thinking thermal or oh, that's heating i'm sorry but i'm sure you won't do it again next question now in a solar powered water feature this question started you can i'll put the start of the question so that you can go back to your test papers if you need to and the energy store that you were after was electrical that is where the energy comes from that is pumping the water which is electrical energy because that has been made by the solar power now you will have noticed that most of the questions on this task that we need to go back over are to do with energy stores and energy transfers so i've been really really kind to you and i've got us a question we haven't done before that's to do with energy stores and transfers this is not something you've done before so you need to look at it carefully you've got an image on the left hand side of a boat that is being moved by a crane that's what this triangular line this line here is the shape down here is a crane you can see these guys these people that are in charge of it uh, are using a mobile phone to send a signal to it to control it or maybe it's a remote control i don't know the details that's not important you can see it is moving and being dropped into the water i'm going to guess as we've got union jack this is somewhere within the uk this symbol this shape here looks rather like the spinnaker tower in portsmouth that's not important just giving you a little bit of context now we have got a number of different solar stores here so we at the top we have got energy stores and we've got dot 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 bits where we can name them that will help us think about the type what we're looking at in the picture here so we identify the type of stores and then we put these letters where they are occurring in the picture then at the bottom we have got three energy transfers a transfer by electricity a transfer by forces a transfer by light again to be labeled on the picture so what you are going to be sending me at the end is a, a copy of this picture with all these letters in the correct place do notice that f has two places so you'll need two letter f's on there this question came from the stem crew sheet i've given you the link here to that unit so that if you feel you need to or you're interested in revising these energy stores and transfers please use this link this is actually real life context this is from INEOS who are the people that organize the British entry into the America's Cup and they use lots of forces and lots of science to make their boats really good to try and win that cup back from the United States so this is not just a oh I wonder what if type of question this is a real life use and application of science so this is science being used science giving people jobs and it is something that you could do when you're older if you're interested in so to recap you will have made some notes on vocabulary you will have made some notes on reading questions carefully you will be downloading this picture and labeling it and sending it to me preferably on the team's assignment area because that has a box where i can give you feedback and that is easy for both of us there will be another presentation later in the week a short one again which is your work for this week but i want you to do the dirt work first hope that's clear have a good week you know how to meet me if you need to. Take care, you're eight. Bye.